Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to reset your Windows login password with Kali Linux Live USB. Now, if you've locked yourself out of your Windows system, this is a Windows 11 uh, computer, but if it could be Windows 10 or Windows 11, if you've forgotten your password and you can't log in, I'm going to show you a real simple way on how to reset this password using Kali Linux, which is completely free and you don't have to pay. Head over to their website, I'll leave a link in the video description, and then hit the download button. This is going to allow us to download the live CD that we're going to be using to basically reset our password. So come down until you see live boot like this, click on this one, and you can choose the 64-bit version to uh, download here. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. And what we'll do is we need to then create a bootable USB flash drive uh, to boot to so we can then reset the password. Now, I know it seems strange downloading a version of Linux to reset a Windows password, but believe it or not, Linux has some of the best tools out there for a Windows-based system. So what we're going to do is download this, and then we're going to download Etcher. And what we're going to do is download Etcher and get this installed so we can then create our bootable USB flash drive, which will then boot to to reset our password. It's really simple and easy to do, and you don't have to pay for any sort of software. You will need a second computer to basically create a bootable USB flash drive with uh, Kali Linux on it, but you should always keep a flash drive available or even create a recovery uh, drive for your Windows-based system. So we're going to open up Etcher here, and then what we're going to do is navigate to our ISO file and select it on our Etcher software. Now we're going to select our USB flash drive. You can see my one is USB SanDisk. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And all you need to do now is click on Flash, and the Etcher program will do all of the hard work for you. It's super easy. And all you need to do then is we're going to boot to that USB flash drive. But before we do that, I just want to have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. Now, if you're looking for a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then head over to CD Key Sales. You can use the links in the video description. All you need to do is set up an account and uh, Use my promo code, click on the buy now button and use capital B, capital R09. And then all you need to do is apply that to your order and basically submit your order and they will send you the key. And then you can go ahead and activate your version of Windows. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Now we've booted to our Kali Linux uh, Rescue USB flash drive. And what we're going to do here, select the live system AMD 64 forensic mode. This is going to have all the tools that we need to basically reset our password. You will see a bunch of text going up on the screen. Don't worry about that, that's pretty normal. But once it loads up, you should see something looking like this. Now, what we need to do here is go into our hard drive of the system. You can see it right here. It's to be the largest drive which has your Windows uh, on there. So we're gonna open this up and you should see something looking like this. And what we need to do here now is go into the actual Windows directory of our computer. So let's go ahead and click on the Windows directory. And from there, what you'll need to do next is find the System32 directory. So look for that down in the folder system here. There we go. Double click on this one, and this will take us inside the System32 here. Once this populates and this opens up, what you need to do then is look for the config folder. The config folder is going to have all of the files inside which we will need to reset our password. So let's go inside there. And this takes a bit of time to populate. And once that's done, you should now see a bunch of files in here. The one that we're interested in is our SAM file. And this is the one that's going to contain our password in it. And this is the one that we're going to need to uh, you know, reset. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal inside this folder here. So right click and basically open up a terminal. And this will open up a terminal exactly in the config folder, exactly what we want to do here, because we want to uh, basically use the command to reset the password inside that SAM file here. So once we're inside our terminal now, you need to type out this command here, chntpw space dash l and then space SAM in capital letters, push enter. And now you can see the user account, which is called Brightek, and it's the admin account. And this is the account that has the password on it. Your account will be called something else, but now we need to type out this command to reset 
the password on the Brightech account. Your account will be listed up there as well. And that's the account that you want to uh, change. So just change the uh, command to the path for your accounts. For instance, mine says Brightech in it, but yours will need to say uh, your account in there. Once you've done that, you should see something like this opening up. And all you need to do here, as you can well see down the bottom here, I'll quickly zoom in so you can see it. On the first line, it says clear blank user password. All we need to do is put a one in that little selection there and push enter, and that will clear the password on that account. It's really easy. So let's go ahead and just put one in here and push enter, and you'll see a little tiny change here. And if we look right up here now, up where the account was, you'll see it says password has been cleared basically. It says password cleared. And now we are pretty much done. All we need to do now is quit from uh, Kali Linux. If we go down the bottom, you'll see select uh, Q for quit. So we need to quit out of this now and close the terminal down. And uh, this will close off uh, this session. So let's go ahead and do that quickly by typing Q. And uh, this will then say quit. And it will say, you sure? I'm going to say yes. I have been changed. I want to say Y for yes to save the information that we just done. So make sure you put Y for yes and push enter. And now we can close off Kali Linux and basically shut it down and remove the USB flash drive from there. If you've changed your boot order, you will need to change it back to Windows now so we can boot to our Windows drive. So let me shut this down. You'll see a bunch of text going up. And with the USB flash drive removed and I've changed the boot order back, we are now booting back up into Windows. And of course, we've removed that password, so we'll just go straight in to the desktop. You can put a new uh, password on that account if you wish, but that's how quick and easy it is to bypass or reset uh, the Windows login password for your account. Now, remember, this is only for local accounts. This is not for uh, Windows Microsoft Live accounts you will need to do something else to reset those. But if it is a local account that you're using, you can then basically use this method to reset the password. So I'm just letting this load up now. It will take a bit of time because we have reset the password on this. So just be patient. And uh, once it does this, it will get to our desktop and uh, we will then have access to our computer again. Now, like I said before, if you want to re-enable another password on that account, you can do uh, because we've just cleared it. Uh, but once you've done this, you're pretty much done and you should have access to your, all your files and data on that computer. And it's that simple, really. And you don't have to pay any money for it. Kali Linux is completely free. I'll leave a link in the video description so you can basically download that and use it. The only downfall is you will need another computer to create a bootable USB flash drive. And of course, you will need to change the boot order to boot to that USB flash drive. Now, if you don't know to, how to change a boot order, I've made uh, videos on that. But again, if you don't know really how to do that sort of stuff, then you really shouldn't be messing around with something like this in the first place. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it. That is basically how you can reset your forgotten local account password on a Windows-based system. It doesn't really matter what version of Windows is. This will work every single time. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And also, I will see you in the very next video, or I'll catch you in the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.